Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me. Louise, is so excited to be here. I'm so very tired. I'm telling you, I am just slowly wearing myself down, I think. I don't know how y'all do it. I really don't. But anyway, we, I am, mm, where do we start? Okay, we'll start with foundation and concealer, all that. So I'm wearing the Prism Libre again, both in foundation and concealer. I set the under eyes with my By Terry in the pink powder. I set the rest of the face with Natasha Denona. For bronzer, I went in with um, ColourPop. It doesn't really have a name. I bought it years ago, years ago, but I am um, going through it. It's, it's pretty, mm, I would say it's more contour than bronze, but we're going with it today because, well, we're not redoing this. We're just not. For blush, I am using the last blush in the Berry and Reds collection, I think. It is called Cheek? Chick. Chic. Wow. <laughs> I'll get it right at some point. Chic. And it's red. However, light hand. If y'all, you gotta use a light hand if you're buying this set because if you're my skin tone or lighter, they're just so pigmented. I mean, they blend, they do, but, you know, they're not meant for our skin tone. So even at that, it, it is a little hard to work with. I ain't gonna lie. The pinks and corals, flawless. Like, no problem at all, to be fair. And then for the highlighter, I'm using the shimmer out of the pinks and corals because this is just my, for my skin tone. And I really do like this highlighter. For the palette today, we're using the second palette out of the uh, three palette thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. What, what, what was it called? Lord, you all, I'm telling you, I have had major, major brain fog. Like, I can't, I can't keep focused for nothing. And I cannot think of words even. Like, I don't know, it's so weird. Words I know, words that I even, like, things I even know. But I can't communicate. I can't communicate. I can't think. I can't. I can't. I just can't. Like, I know the name of this thing. I just did the video on it yesterday. And I'm like, what was it called? And it's right there. It, it's something error. Like, I know it. Golden error. See, I told you I knew it. The Golden Air palette collection. Three palettes. We're doing elegance. And it's pretty. So, they're all pretty palettes. Alright, the first shade we're going to go into is this one right here. All three palettes are beautiful to look at. I've only used two of the three so far. The mattes are okay. They're easy to build, easy to blend. They're not skipping. They're not doing anything funky. They're not doing anything. They're wonderful. The metallics, though, are not, and I hate it. Like, it is paining me to have to sit here and say that I just, I don't think it's worth your money. I don't. We're going to take the same shade and run it under the lower lash line. If the metallics were good, I would say wait for a sale and get it. A, it never hurts to save a little money. If you're breaking it up, it may be worth it like for like 13 and under like stocking stuffers or something. But I don't know where Tarte went wrong with this. I really don't. I don't know why they changed their formula. I don't know why 
or if they didn't change it and they pressed it different i just don't know why i don't know what the, why they had to even mess with something for lips i'm wearing the sephora rouge infusion the neutral in peony it's one of these it's like lip stain i do like it it's easy to use you know we're going to go into this dark purple well it's not that dark but it does build thank goodness so if you are scared of dark colors I mean you, you don't have to be scared of these dark colors anyway they build beautifully the metallic shades is where I found my problems lying it just I don't get it they have been doing so good so good and now it's like it's just the fallout and I know you can prevent it I get it I do but I never had to do anything to prevent it before so it's like why change it if it was good before and you're making it to where it's not user Or it's going to have a lot of user error. So you can see that that purple builds up a little bit. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it would even get as dark as it is in the pan, to be honest. I guess maybe, yeah. Padded one. Like, I love the look. The look is pretty. It's a pink purple-y look. You know what I mean? Like, it, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just the formulas. Okay, we're going to go into this shade here. I'm picking it up. I got tons of fallout. Tons of it underneath that eye. I mean... I actually had to brush it away and reapply concealer and set it. That's how bad the fallout was from the shade. Again, I could have sprayed it. I could have used my finger, but I've never had to with Tarte Shadows. And I don't intend to start now. So that's why these are total duds for me. A, because, let's be honest, do you have time to do that? I mean obviously if I'm sitting down and playing I have all the time in the world but on a day to day now do you because I don't do you have time to mess with your makeup and because the product is finicky I'm not saying you're messing with it because you just want to get it perfect and spot on and you know the whole shebang like you want a good makeup day I'm not talking about that or you're just sitting down to have fun and play with color. like I'm not talking about that I'm talking about you're trying to get ready for work and you can see the fallout on my I think you could see it on my brush handle even like this shadow is just and the more you mess with it the worse it gets I mean it, it's just not good and it pains me because I so wanted it to be good I really really did I used the Tarte Fake Awake in the waterline the cream colored one yeah see I can see it and it's fallen and it's kind of it's not so bad like it looks like it's through here it's all falling and it could just be the way I'm sitting or the fan but it's same over here it all fell over on this side well this one is kind of over here too but I don't know there's just a lot a lot of fallout I guess if you did your makeup first but here's the thing I've noticed that throughout the day that shade is falling so you almost then have to have a glitter glue or spray it something you're gonna have to do something to prevent it i'm gonna go into this shade right here and we're gonna put it in the inner corner 
and I don't I mean I, I don't think this is the best packaging tarts ever done but it's not bad it would it if the formula was good I think they I would have said okay it's another year they did good it's worth it you know what I mean because the packaging isn't like my favorite but it's it's it is different and it's a little more on theme of Christmas than, say, the Too Faced one this year, in my opinion. But the Too Faced products are better. Okay. And then for mascara, we're just going to go in with the Sephora one today. Again, I just got off work, so I'm not doing anything really. But I did want to show you these palettes of and how they perform. Because I don't want you to waste your money. And there's too many holiday launches out here. And granted, here's the thing. And I said it in the other video. I didn't waste my money. I'm glad I got it right. I started thinking, okay, yeah, I am re-giving it to my grandkids. You know, it'll go in their stock their stockings. I can't talk. But it is a waste of money. Because I could have purchased the Lawless Collection. I could have purchased the ABH Collection. And who knows if they're any good. I don't. But maybe they are. Because these are not. They're just not. They are so pretty to look at. They're even pretty to swatch. But they are not. Pretty on to wear. They're messy to wear. They're not effortless. They take work. And if I'm going to, you know, have to take work at a look, then I'm going to use a palette that I want to work at, and these are not it. Alright, we're good enough. I don't know. We got one more palette. But even if it's good, one out of three, come on now. No. No. I just don't know who thought this one up. And maybe I have a bad batch. That could be possible. Like maybe mine were hard pressed. Or. I don't know. But then to be fair. I've not seen that many people talking about them. But then the ones that I do see talk about them. Are always talking negative. They talk every year about how bad all their Christmas collections are. They're nothing like what's in the lines and part of that is true yes part of it no so I do like I could see it from every perspective I guess but for myself it's just not worth it it's really not I wish I wish I would have saved my money I do even though I will get use out of them not in the way I intended it's still a waste of money. And I'm kind of getting worried. Well, no. Because hourglass pellets were worth the, the pen. It was worth everything. So, for me anyway. So, no. I was going to say that I'm getting worried that this year's Christmas stuff is going to be all, a, like, it's not going to be worth the money. But I don't want to think that way. I want to think positive. Because there's too many of them that I do want and if they're all bad like I'll be heartbroken that'll be so sad you know and not just for me and my wallet but for anybody that buys them because that's not the way I want to introduce you or for you to be introduced to a brand like if you walked in and just seen this and thought mm, I'll give it a try there's lots of different colors and then you're like oh that's not good why do people like tart like you're because that's not Tarte's regular formula. So, but anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope this video helped. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you're notified when I upload. I upload every day but Sunday. 
or at least I'm trying. And I will see you in tomorrow's video with the third palette. I don't know what it's called. Bejeweled. So, fingers crossed. But yeah, I know I went over everything. Yep, so we are good to go. I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.